Hi, we're from Green Dream Group. I'm Corbett Lunsford. And I'm Grace Lunsford. And we're about to weatherize this window. So let's have a look at what's going on under infrared. <laughs> Remember, the black areas are cold and the light areas are warm. We've got 44 degree areas at the bottom here. Uh, and then the 65 degree curtain right next door. That means that that's going to be a good spot for heat to transfer out of your house. Um, the heat that you've paid for. So we are going to uh, put some weather stripping on the moving parts of this window, and then we're also going to cover it with plastic. All you'll need for this project is a window insulation kit, which is a plastic sheet, a hair dryer to tighten it, and a utility knife or scissors to cut it away once you've um, found out how much you need. And if you've got gaps around the moving parts of your window, then you'll need some weather stripping. We've got two examples here, EPDM rubber and uh, closed cell foam, and both of those are simply peel and stick. And all of these are under $25 altogether. All right, so when you're getting ready to weatherize your window, you're gonna make sure that you're gonna put your weather stripping on first before you put on that plastic and then you can't get to it. And also make sure any extraneous pieces from old blinds or the little movable parts that you use during the summer to open and close your window come off so they don't interrupt the plastic. We have a little gap here in the movable part of the window that I can stick my fingernail into. And just to make sure that that's going to be nice and tight, I'm going to add a little bit of weather stripping just in this uh, area here before we close it up. So this peel and stick is very simple. You just peel off the backing. It's sticky. You stick it on to a clean surface. And then, when you close the window up, it's nice and tight, and there's no more breeze. Then, to make sure that this is not going to interrupt the plastic, because obviously the plastic is going to be right in the middle of this, we're going to loosen the screw that's on the side that's tightened it down, and remove this. So now we're going to get ready to put the plastic on the window. And luckily, these drapes are pretty far removed from the window, so we don't even have to take them down. But we do have to make sure that the area is nice and clean and free of dust, even dust you can't see. So just so the take tape a, will stick. So take a wet rag and then a dry rag and follow it up and wipe it down. This is not necessarily the only kind of window you would want to apply this plastic to and do the weatherizing on. Old windows that you may think you need to replace can do perfectly well when you apply this very, very inexpensive plastic. It's about 20 cents a square foot and you do a little bit of weatherization on it. It'll perform as almost as well as a very expensive window. Um, so, so think about doing this before you think about replacing your windows. Inside the window insulation kit, you have a sheet of plastic uh, or multiples, depending on what kind you bought, and a roll of double-sided tape that you use to affix the plastic to the window. Okay. And then you need to be able to cut it with scissors. The corners you need to be careful with. You can either cut and make sure that, um, that you have the two strips overlapping, or if you're going to do it in a continuous line, make sure that it meets all the way into the corner and gets all the way in there. So it's going to make sure that the uh, plastic doesn't have any drafts. Let the tape sit here for just a minute before you fix the plastic so that it can seal firmly to the window. So it's always good to have a partner when you're using this plastic because it can be rather large. And also it's important that when you're putting it up that it's nice and measured. So you don't have too much extra that you're cutting away and possibly pulling away from the adhesive later. Now we're pulling away the backing on the tape. Carefully. When you put the plastic up, we found that it's really, really helpful if you start pressing in the middle and work your way out to help prevent any gaps or sags in the plastic. You don't have to worry about the fact that it's not super tight because that's where the hair dryer comes in. You're going to use the hair dryer to make the plastic tight as a drum and also super clear so it looks like a window. One recommendation also for when you do this outside is um, it can't be snowy. You have to have the temperature at least 55 degrees for, um, for the adhesive to stick. So now that the plastic is on here and it is not tight yet, uh, make sure, just for safety's sake, not to cut this away because you might need it after, after you've uh, started tightening it. So wait till the end to cut this away and now we're going to start blow drying and tightening this. When blow drying, it's really important 
start on the outside and work your way in. Don't just start blow drying right in the center. So now once you've given it a nice uh, blow dry all across it, it's going to make it tight as a drum and nice and clear so you can't even really see that you have plastic on your windows. Trim away the excess. Be careful and don't go too fast so you don't want to rip up the window that all the work that you've done. Wrapping paper trip also really works. And, and voila! Plastic over your window, and you can hardly see it. So that's it. It's as easy as that. And not only really nice windows can benefit from this, if you have an apartment with some really beat up windows, this can really significantly reduce drafts from them, make you more comfortable, save you some money if you pay your own gas bills. Um, so that's it. Thank you very much.